Hey everyone, welcome back to Bikini Bottom where it's our mission to cover every single Matoa UI component. And today's video, we got a nice easy one. It'll be really short. It's just the link component. Now, the link component in Matoa UI is used to style any typography or anything like that to look like a link. So you can see the default link is over here and pretty much the basic prop you can pass into is the href prop. You can also pass in uh, the target prop if you want to make it open in a new tag you can set the target prop equal to underscore blank the same way you would for an anchor tag in regular HTML now in the examples here you can see they're just wrapping it in regular text but it's important to note that you can also go ahead and wrap it in typography and when I use the link uh, a lot of the times I'm going to be wrapping it in typography however there are some caveats to this component which I'll talk about in just a second but first let's just quickly go over all the regular props uh, for example, we talked about the href one, we talked about the target prop that they don't mention in the documentation, but it's sort of like a given and it's just the standard HTML um, anchor uh, tag prop that you can pass in. Then we have the color and the variant. So if you pass in the variant, you can see that this variant is similar to the typography variant. So if you didn't want to actually pass and nest a typography component inside of your link uh, to pass in the text, you could actually just pass in that uh, variant. If I go over to the actual documentation, you'll see the variants are pretty much the exact same ones as the typography. And if you want to know how to create your own variants in typography, check out my last video on theming. I talk all about how to create your own typography variants and you will be able to use your custom typography variants with this variant prop for the link component. You can also get rid of the underline if you do not want ones by passing in the underline uh, equals none prop. If you set underline prop to uh, hover, obviously it'll just make it hover. And then of course you can have it always, which is just the default anyways. They talk a bit about, you know, how to make sure that you're, when you use target equals underscore blank, you have to use rel no opener, but that's basic HTML security uh, that you can read about if you are interested in that. Usually I always just do uh, one of these no matter what, um, if I'm using the target underscore blank. Now the thing I did want to talk about is that, um, this, if you want to go from place to place, a lot of the times if you're using React Out router in your application, uh, you might want to consider actually using the React router link component instead of the Matoa UI one because it will handle history pushing properly, whereas this link one, if you link it somewhere internal, might not use the uh, proper React router history depending on what version of React router you are on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, I actually personally, um, you know, I used to use the link prop a lot uh, for my applications, but now I always just wrap anything I want to link uh, elsewhere in my site with the React router link prop. Or if I'm, I'm going to use this link, I will make sure I pass in an on click, uh, and that on click will usually have like a history dot push. Um, or if you're using the new version of React Router, just a history uh, redirect to whatever page I am on. But that's pretty much it for this component. It's very simple. Um, I personally don't really use it anymore because, like I said, I'll usually just use React Router's link, and then if I need to style that, I'll just apply the stylings to there um, because it works natively with whatever version of React Router you are using. But that's pretty much it for the link component. And if you found value, make sure you leave a comment. It helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the next video.